A con culture has been in America since African people were enslaved by Europeans and brought to the Americas. The culture was maintained by adapting to the times based on the circumstances. This can be seen in the language and culture of the African diaspora. For example, in the naming of the children or in funeral rites. Akom Kesi was born out of the Akan culture presented by Nana Yao of Peridini Zulu I, who in the late 80s and 90s organized weekend-long conferences at Howard University. These conferences focused on the tenets of Akan culture, namely the naming ceremony, puberty rites, marriage, and funeral rites. In addition to providing a venue to rekindle friendships and family ties, and a koam is a spiritual gathering of the community where the gods and ancestors are invited to commune with man. A koam is a twee word that means to possess, and kesi is a twee word for big. So literally, a koam kesi is the big possession. 25 years later, a komfo Dr. Kwesi Amoa longed for the atmosphere that Nana Yao of Peri Dinizulu first established. He thought long and hard of how to recreate the magic of Nana Dinizulu and decided to organize a Kesi. The vision was to create a group of people who would carry this mission. In 2013, a Dr. Amoa began having individual conversations with community members about a Kesi. During these conversations, he sought to assess the demand and wishes of the community. In 2015, Akonfo Dr. Amoa organized the initial planning committee. This committee was comprised of himself, Akonfo Okoshua, Akonfo Ofua, and Akonfo Fofi. The intent was to resume a conference that was dedicated to teaching the community in the Americas about Akon culture. He specifically chose the word a poem to describe the gathering because many of the shrines that have since come to America are not of a con origin, and the term a koam is more universally applicable. The planning committee convened in 2015. Subsequently, formal presentations were made to the major Akan shrine houses, requesting their participation and explaining the intent of such gathering. The first Akan Kesi was in 2016 at Roy Wilkins Park, New York City. It also coincided with the 45th anniversary of Akans in America. The event was a beautiful occasion. In 2017, the conference was held in Washington, D.C. This conference focused on hearing the vision of the elders for the Akan culture for the next 50 years. The event was well attended and provided a time for our Akan nation to connect and reconnect. In addition to listening to the vision of the elders, the priests came together and created an agreement for their standard of behavior. In 2018, the format of the conference was changed from a one-day conference to three days. This allowed for greater interaction among participants. It was also hosted in Wilmington, Delaware, as this was a destination that was midway between two of the cities that have the biggest Akan communities. Washington, D.C., and New York. As a powerful accompaniment to the previous conference and its focus on eldership, a platform was instituted for the young people to have a voice to express their concerns to the community. Sessions were also conducted on songs and protocol. In 2019, the conference again was held in Wilmington, Delaware. With an eye on understanding and determining the role of eldership, there were also important sessions on the creation and maintenance of ancestral altars, relationships, and issues that were unique to men and issues that were unique to women. This conference also marked the first time a symbolic ritual was conducted from elders to young people. In 2020, due to the restrictions that were imposed throughout the country in order to prevent the spread of COVID-19, the conference was held virtually. This year, we will celebrate virtually again, and we are pleased to welcome our community to our conference. Saturday, July 31st, 2021 through Friday, August 6th, 2021 at no cost. Register today. We look forward to a powerful virtual conference and to your attendance.